I do think that owners of newspapers um, are not as committed as they were. I do think that corporate owners pay lip service to public service, but a lot of them don't care as much about it. Um, I don't think that um, I don't think the corporate ownership of Tribune Company um, cares as deeply about journalism as a public service mission as the editors I the fine editors I know in Tribune Company. I just don't. Um, I suspect the same is true in the old Knight Ritter. Um, there's some owners who are different. I mean, Gary Pruitt of McClatchy, who I've been on a panel, what seems to care more more deeply. Um, but I think it's true. I think some of these clashes were inevitable because, you know, editors. We have a different job. You know, my job is uh, my job. I, the one one of the biggest philosophical clashes was this. All these editors, including me, had become in the in the minds of the owners. We were supposed to be invested in the mission of the paper. And part of the, their mission, my mission was doing a certain kind of journalism. Their mission was keeping the margin uh, at a certain level. The company. Yeah. And yeah. I think that, they, I think that they, can't, they can't reconcile the fact that editors are not corporate executives, that editors are not con committed to the same mission they're committed to. I think, I think that that's part of the struggle. I think when, when we all went public, um, at a lot of companies, not the New York Times, thank God, not the Washington Post. Um, the ownership expects editors to be like division managers. Right. You know? And I, my, a lot of my clashes were they were asking me to do things that there was no, you know, of course you'd ask the advertising department to do some of the things that they, they wanted me to do in terms of cuts, but I didn't regard myself as a division manager.